Okay, so let's talk about the big news today, which was James Wan and Jason Blum having a merger of both of their companies. Each of them have their own company. Jason Blum has Blumhouse, of course. James Wan has Atomic Monsters. And they create various projects. It's not just horror, but they might just actually merge both companies. But the big breaking news today was that both companies might merge to become this huge powerhouse of horror. And that is a very insane, very exciting, but kind of scary at the same time. I'll talk more about that in a bit like piece of news to get because this would be insanity to think that two of the biggest horror franchise making powerhouses joining together to become an even more powerhouse is insane this is right after the walter Hamada news about paramount acquiring him to sort of push more of the horror from paramount and the horror is hot 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 right now but before we get any further into this news story and talk about what this means go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell we are your one-stop shop for all the stuff you love about pop culture all of that we do have some videos today coming out on the menu the movie you have to go see this weekend that is not saying it lightly this is the movie you have to go see this weekend as well as the inspection we'll talk more about that in our video so check those out but let's talk about this huge deal that might just go through with jason blum and james wan this is coming to us from Variety. We are reading the article right here. Reports that James Wan and Jason Blum are in advanced talks to merge Wan's Atomic Monster and Blum House, Blum House production. Uh, so they are looking to do this and do it over at Universal Pictures. As we know, Blumhouse and Universal are working together. They just gave us the Halloween Ends movie, which, by the way, I enjoyed a lot. I am just going to say it already. Um, let me know what you thought about it. I know it's such a polarizing movie, right? So Variety notes Blumhouse known for its low budget approach to terror is currently under a first look deal at Universal, which could extend to Atomic Monster as long as the deal closes. Juan's first look deal at Warner Brothers ended earlier this year after nearly a decade. So this is huge news because Atomic Monster, of course, being behind the Conjuring universe and all of that would mean that we would get the Conjuring universe at Universal. And we know there's a new Conjuring movie on the way, but this doesn't just go for movies. We would could actually be seeing some Conjuring at Horror Nights if this is a thing, because as we read further into the article, this extends past films. And this is exciting, honestly. So this brought so this variety details after merging the parties expect that atomic monster and blumhouse will continue to operate as separate labels with each maintaining its own creative autonomy and brand identity atomic monster is expecting to utilize the existing blumhouse infrastructure to further scale their activities in film tv and new content areas the idea behind the alliance is to increase the output from each side they also hope to expand into horror related games live entertainment and audio podcasts are hot as well we currently know that jordan peele is releasing a horror podcast next week so i definitely do see the appeal there as well as with other entertainment just makes me think about having horror nights sort of incorporate the conjuring universe as well and insidious and just about anything else that we can think about that wand has been behind maybe saw all of that so this is exciting news honestly so uh the new york times reported that the Blumhouse and Atomic Monster have already met, been together, as we know, in Insidious and the upcoming Megan movie, which is already getting a sequel due to the success that the box office seems to be or will be in the future due to the virality of the Megan trailer, which spawned the Megan dance. So, I mean, these two already know how to give us some good horror. Blumhouse, of course, being behind some of the biggest horrors, such as Sinister, The Purge, the Halloween series, and then you have Atomic Monster with The Conjuring, Insidious, and so forth. So they know how to craft some good horror. Black Phone was one of the biggest hits of the year as well. So it, it just sounds like a match made in heaven, honestly. And I think that this is going to be some pretty good stuff to get from both of them. So, of course, we don't have many details as to what or when we could hear the news but i think with the whole thing with atomic monster and warner brothers first look deal ending over the summer i think that universal is pretty much trying to see if they can get this done by the end of the year so by the time the next conjuring movie comes out that they could definitely get that under their belt uh universal who has worked with blumhouse for a while now i think that they are definitely very much so in like the know that horror is this big thing right now i think where comic book movies were at a certain point a couple of years ago 
is where horror has found itself now. And although comic book movies are still very popular, I think horror is having that sort of momentum right now with movies such as Black Phone, such as Smile, Barbarian, that have sort of pushed the envelope further into what horror can be and is doing and sort of being like, hey, we can make something very low budget that's going to make a ton of money. And we saw it with all of those movies as well. And we see still the want for these legacy horrors such as this new Scream movie that comes out, the recent Halloween movie, the current Chucky TV series. And, you know, it's just that want to for horror right now that is really driving all of this and could make this huge deal happen. So I'm excited for all of the parties involved. The only scary thing that I thought about was that could we see an oversaturation of big studio horror and stop seeing some of the uh, more riskier horror elements of what we've seen before? We know that legacy characters are a big thing. Blumhouse has expressed interest in bringing Freddy back. And although I am excited for that, I do think that I want more of what Barbarian and Smile gave us than just the legacy stuff and the big horror studios doing horror only. I want to see more of this out of nowhere horror people giving us some very interesting and new and fresh stuff so that's my only scare with this big deal going through but overall i'm excited i hope that all things go well and this just further pushes more people to do horror and some new fresh ideas to come forth like I said, I don't expect to have any news or any um, sort of statement about this probably till the end of the year or closer to the release of Megan. That would probably be the best time for them to announce this merger has happened or hasn't happened because that's definitely when all eyes will be on both companies. Megan, as I said, is slated to have a huge box office and we'll see how it does. I think the virality of it and meme worthiness of it is good. That is the new marketing these days now. You can become a meme and you can sell and that's definitely something that Blumhouse has figured out, I feel. So we'll definitely see how that does. But let me know your thoughts and your um, expectations on this deal. Do you hope it goes through or not? I myself am excited for the most part. Like I said, I do appreciate them trying to venture off beyond film with this, such as the live entertainment, the virtual reality, the audio and video games sounds interesting as well. So we'll see. Anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you check out all our other videos. We have a video on the menu. We have a movie review on the menu as well as an ending explained on it. So if you want some more on the menu, go check those out. Also check out the inspection review, which is another movie that comes out as well this weekend. And we have a ton of other stuff on the way as well, such as smile and barbarian and all of the other horror goodies you love our podcast will be coming back i know the podcast is just like all over the place but stay tuned for that make sure you follow us on all the other social medias as well twitter tiktok instagram all that good stuff all down here and as always that is going to do it for us really appreciate you making it all the way to the end we have some major announcements for you pretty soon so stay tuned for that and as always stay safe stay positive but hey, if you're still listening, really appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Make sure you check out all our other videos. We have the videos on the menu as well as some reviews for you and some of the other movies that are coming out such as Bones and All and all of that. So a ton of stuff for you to check out. And like I said, we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So make sure you keep subscribing. We are going to do a giveaway once we get close to that and you don't want to miss out on that. So make sure you continue to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.